Well, let's go ahead and find volume and surface area of this shape. And notice that this diameter is 18, so that means the radius is half of that. The radius must be 9. So for my volume, I know my standard volume is area of the base times the height. That would be for like a cylinder, so if this was in a cylinder. But um, since this is a cone, it's one-third of that. So let's find the area of the base. And right now you can just think of this flipped upside down. Turn it over so the circle, the base is at the bottom. So that is the, just the area of that circle, pi times 9 squared, which is, which is 81 pi. So it's going to be 1 third times 81 pi times the height. The height is 21. And so there it is right there. I could uh, multiply those all together. Uh, 1 third times 81 times 21 is uh, 567 pi. I can do that on my calculator. Or just know it because I'm so good at that. Um, and... Let me get a decimal approximation for that. Um, you could go straight from the 567. If you want to do it on your calculator straight away, just go 1 third times 81, or you could even go times 9 squared, uh, times pi times 21. And that'll give us our volume. Remember that volume is in um, cubic units. So 1,781.28, and that is units cubed. So there's our volume. So now for our surface area, think about that cut. If we were to cut it out and unroll the cone part, it would make that part of a circle. And then we would have the base up here. So this base, 9. And we're doing area. So we have the area of the circle. And the area of the, the, area of the circle is uh, pi r squared. So pi times 9 squared, 81 pi. Uh, then what we need is we actually want to know this distance here is 9, this distance here is 21, we need the slant edge right here. So we can use Pythagorean Theorem to get that, that slant edge right there, how big that is. So 21 squared plus 9 squared, and then I square root that. So let's see, 21 squared plus 9 squared is 522 so it's the square root of 522 i could turn that into a decimal if i wanted but i think right now i'll just leave that as that i'll you know throw it in a decimal later uh, in the calculator and then remember to find the area of this wedge we can go pi times the radius times that side length and if you're not sure why um, look back to that video nine times pi times square root of 522. so the surface area would be the the area of the circle plus the area of the wedge so that's that plus whatever this is, 9 times pi times root 522. So let me do that on my calculator and see what I get. So 81 pi plus 9 pi times the square root of 522. And I get about uh, 900.46. And notice that that is units squared. So there's my volume. There's my surface area for that lovely, lovely problem.